Olympija, Olympija, shout out Future. But wow, this isn't Future who made Mask Off. This is a better Future. This Future asked me to do Olympija three times in seven days. So this better be good. Bro, this has to be good because the demand for it was real, man. Nickname Zmaji. Uh, all right, honest status loves the club. Champions League. All right. It's starting to make a little bit more sense. Last season, they won the league as well. Man's in Slovenia right now. God damn it. I'm the only black guy here. I'm chatting rubbish. All right. First player that we've got is Matevs Vidzvovzvek. Bro, all right. Um, he's an honest man. He'll be terrible at poker because he's too honest. 13 reflexes, 13 agility, 31 and ones. And we've met him on a goalkeeper defense. He's not pretending to be something. He's not. He's too honest. All right. The backup. The man that we need when we're in need is... Dennis Pinto, 12 reflexes, 11 agility, 10 one on ones. Not on my team still. See ya. All right, lastly for the goalkeepers, we've got Zan Mauricio. So this is the actual backup. It's a breakthrough prospect, but the coach is rating him highly. And I'm looking at the stats and it's like, bruv, this guy's rubbish. But he's 18. So if this coach is lying, we'll find out. Give him a couple years still. I'll keep him for a couple. That coach is getting released if I find out that this guy is a fraud, bro. You man are both frauds. You're, you're liars. All right, first outfit play that we've got is Marcel Ratnik. Is this how you greet me to your team? I open the door and there's a dead mouse on the floor. Actually, hold on the stats. Hey, do you know what? He's not abysmal. He actually isn't. I mean, 19 years old. You would want a couple things better. For example, tackling. I don't like these 12s, but I must say, it's not making my eyes bleed. My eyes aren't bleeding. I'm actually still here thinking, maybe the coach... Maybe he's not on some of that powder. He might actually have a point because the strength is all right. There could be something there. Who knows? I won't find out. You will. You know what? Maybe that guy was probably the best we're going to get. I didn't appreciate him while he was on the screen. We've got Nicola Motica right now. He's 19, but he's not like his friend. But this one, you throw it in the dustbin still. I'll be honest. Um, we're, not, we're not getting anywhere with this at the back. All right, next we've got Marco Ristic. And yeah, it's a lot of youth, but it sucks when they suck. I'll be honest, um, 18, 5 jump and reach and he's a centre back. What is this guy, a flipping weight? He can't jump because he's too heavy. He's only 70 kg, man. Maybe it's the boots, they're weighing him down still. I don't know what it is, but 15 positioning, 14 tackling. Man, I've got one good thing about them and now that means first team football. I don't know. But yeah, I'm definitely convinced this coach is on something, bro. We need to investigate this because yeah, 5 star potential. Bro. All right, next we've got Mateo Karamatic, bro. Um, this is another young man, 21 years old, 13 positioning, 12 tackling. He's better than his friends. But yeah, this coach, I think maybe the more five-star potential players there are, the more money he gets. He's just lying to all of these kids, bro. All right, next we've got Justas Lasicas. Um, you know what? He's actually not too bad. You kind of have to watch out for him going forward because he can bite. He can. He can definitely bite you going forward. Defensively, it's not abysmal in terms of tackling is the position that you're worried about but since he's already a complete wing back yeah i don't think there's suitable cover based on what i've seen so you could be in problems but yeah the agility is not too great overall better than what i've expected all right next we've got george george silver tries long range passes complete wing back on support and the guy's got 10 vision and seven passing bro fraud this is like your bank changing your pin without you knowing so they can take your money all right, next we've got Ahmed Mohamed, uh, whatever. All right, listen, 24 years old, great passer, 14 passing, 9 vision though. Uh, tries to play way out of trouble, 7 dribbling, 5 flare. I would love to see that, bro. That's like trying to outswim a shark. You're getting munched, bro. I'm sorry, man. 12 tackling, and I'm not sorry. He's the one that's going to have to be apologising for getting spoiled. Bun! Are you mad? The only thing he's got is a bit of physicals, but that's not going to save you on the pitch. All right, next we've got Pascal Juan Estrada. Man, look at this. Look at how reliable he'll be for you. He was what? He was at Wolves, bro. He was at big, big man Wolves. Very reliable. He'll never be injured. I'm just thinking, what is he good at? Over here, I'm just seeing 11s in literally every area, which in this league, this could be Maldini. He could be Maldini in this league. I... I couldn't tell you, bro. I don't use him, but if he comes to like a serious league, he's going to get dealt with, obviously, strength lacking. But there's things that he can take advantage of if 
the competition isn't too high. All right, next we've got David Swalehi, bruv. All right, he's been all around Portugal, man. Look at that. Straight from Port O's Academy. Cool. Um, stays back at all times. He's solid. He's got a foundation. He can win the ball, tackling. This is like guard dog. Anyone that comes, you have full right to throw peanut butter at them. Fighting crossing. No, he doesn't want to stay back, man. He can, but he's actually, uh, it's not too great going forward, but the crossing is the only thing in it. So overall, solid defensively, and that's it. Thank you. All right, next we've got Ali Jazz Kreful. All right, inverted wing back on support, 11 technique, 11 vision, 12 passing. Forget it, forget it. It's nonsense. It's a waste of time. He's 29 as well. That's unacceptable. We might as well be hunting antelope with goldfish. Pointless. The only thing he can do is kind of win the ball, but when he wins it, what's he going to do with it, bro? Rubbish, sell him. All right, next we've got Marco Mijalvic, bruv. All right, um, inverted fullback this time. Someone from the midfield or the defence, like the middle part, needs to man up and tell these guys to piss off. Stop trying to cut inside, bruv. You're not going to bring anything to this team apart from stress, bro, if you're cutting in. And defensively, it's not even too strong. Well, tackling is kind of strong. Positioning is not too strong, bro. Sell him. All right, next we've got Val Jankovic. Send him on loan so we don't have to see all of his... What's the opposite of highlights? Lowlights. I don't want to see his lowlights on my team, bro. He can come back, probably, because he's young, innit? That's the only reason why. But the reason why I would loan him out is because 13 positioning, 13 tackling is the only thing he's really got, which is all right. All right, next we've got Peter Agba. You're using one of your non-EU positions on this. Bruv, you might as well bring me in, man. Let me go in that midfield, bruv. If you've got this at your at your club, bruv. I'll be honest, like, I'll do a job better than this. I mean, I can see the ball a lot better than that. I'm lying. He's better than me still. Oh, my God. Football, is that you? Oh, I feel like a kid who got lost in the shopping centre. <laughs> I swear to God, looking for his parents at Sainsbury's, bruv. That's how it feels. I was looking for someone good at football this whole time. I think I found him, though. Augustine Dofo, therefore I found him. Look at this. 15 technique, 13 vision, 14 passing is brilliant. Look at this, man. I mean, he's a brilliant passer. That's about it. On a level, he's still kind of bad, but based on what I've seen, I'll take anything right now. 14 tackling, 14 positioning. Bruv, that's solid, man. Little DM. Who's putting in Mazala? Take him off flipping Mazala, bro. That's the DM, and that's the only decent player I've seen so far, in my opinion. Apart from the goalkeeper. All right, next we've got Nemanja Gavric. Um, nine technique, seven vision. No, no, that's not how you do it, man. I met him as Segundo Volante, man. You man, you know that's my role, innit? That's my role. That's not Segundo. That's sell him Jundo. Sell him Jundo Volante, man. I'm telling you, get him out of here, bruv. Fraud. Fraud. All right, next we've got a 26-year-old called Safadida. Bruv, when this guy's pissing about on the pitch, all you hear is music and then you hear bear man singing, Fadida, Fadida. Fadida, 12 finishing, uh, 11 technique, Fadida, uh, 10, te 10 decisions, Fadida. Um, no, I'll be honest, he's actually got a lot of things good about him still. Maybe he'll be useful in this league, 13 long shots. Who knows? I'll be honest, it's not. It's actually not terrible, in it? But I only say that because of the league we're in, bro. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. That's how desperate I am right now, bro. I'll take anything. Bro, I'll take anything, bro. Alright, next we've got that number 10. That's their tallies, man, I imagine. That's the main man right there. Timmy. Man, like Timmy. I like him, obviously, but it's just like... He kind of reminds me of, like, someone who just escaped the police, but they still have their handcuffs on, man. It's like, you've got your freedom. Composure, decisions, dribbling, first touch. It's good. It looks bright. And then you still have your handcuffs on, 11 passing. And then on top of that, you're trying to drive with the handcuffs on. Man's got... Looks for pass rather than attempting to score, and the guy's got 11 passing, bruv. Just bang it, please. Just put me out of my ris my misery and bang the ball, bruv. I'll be honest, he's like, man, I was at Northampton, bro. Man, I was at Derby and stuff. You know what? He's been about, but um, yeah, there's a couple holes that I will not ignore. So, as a midfielder, nah, bro. I'll be honest, the most I'll do is probably right wing star. See a winger, but then the pace, ah, oh, this is a problem, bro. But it's better than what I've seen. I just don't know what I'm going to do, bro. And when I'm like that, I like to put people on the bench because, yeah, it's not a good position to be in still. All right, next we've got Ivan Pozavej. Yeah, whatever. Bro, I'll be honest. I wouldn't spend money on that and I wouldn't use it either. The only money you'll be spending is half of the wage because no one's going to pay him that much. It's too much, bro. <laughs> I'm rubbish. He's rubbish, though, really. 
All right, next we've got Reda Bultam, um, regular starter who could still improve. 25, I look at this, I'm like, all right, cool. We came from the Ajax Academy. I actually saw that earlier. Yeah, it's rubbish, bro. What is he doing on the pitch then, innit? If he's starting, what is he doing? Uh, he's breathing, innit? That's it. The only thing he's actually doing well is breathing. Stealing the oxygen from the real ballers. <laughs> All right, next we've got Raul Florax, and I haven't really given a lot of credit, so I like to give man credit here, yeah, so I know for a fact, like, 9 out of 10 times, yeah, he will successfully give the ball away to the other team, like, 10 vision, 10 passing, bro, he's rubbish, man, look at this, 16 dribbling, 15, four, I mean, 14 dribbling, 16 flair, yeah, he can shoot, he can go through the whole team and do a madness, yeah, well, acceleration's a bit slacking, but still, you don't know what's happening next. Eight decisions. Concentration sucks. Yeah, this guy's rubbish, man. He's rubbish. All right, next we've got Marco. Um, You know, I don't know what it is. I just love the second name. It's quality. Hey, 11 dribbling, 11 flair. He's not the best quality-wise, but based on what I've seen, you might have to stick with this still. He might be your new Mbappe. He might be. 21. Yeah, man. Without the pace and 95% of the ability, but it's still Mbappe. He still sells shirts, bro. He's the number 18. He, do he, do he doesn't want Marco. Everybody wants Marco, bro. All right, next you've got Diogo Pinto. And you know what? That's actually their best attacker, man. Like, I don't know if I put my faith in it, but I have to say the dribbling and the flair, the finishing is great. Like, he's a shooter. He knows where the goal is from close and long range. The passing is not too bad. This is actually a good player. It's just decision making. You have to watch out for it mentally. You have to look out for that, man. I'll be real. But I have to respect. Man came from the Sporting Academy. They created this baller. Because, kind of, he might be a little bit of a baller. All right, next you've got a 20-year-old called Nemanja Motika. Um, from Hertha Berlin, was at Bayern for a bit. That didn't last too long, I'll be honest. Anyway, 13 pace, I mean, good pace, very good dribbling. But it's, that, it's just that end product, man. Like, the mental ability sucks with the end product. That's the problem. Along with the flipping lack of first touch. It's like, man's playing football with a crabby patty in his left hand. He's just eating it like, oh. All right, next we've got Zan Kovacevic. Oh, my God. 16 determinations, 16 decisions. <sighs> That's my new advisor. Someone give me his number. I don't care. I don't care if he can't dribble when he's a left winger. Who cares, who cares about that? He knows, he knows the right decision to make. I don't care if he's got 11 passing. He knows what he wants to do, bro. He knows. As long as he knows what he wants to do, the, the ability doesn't matter. I don't care if the first touch is bouncing, affecting... Babies in the stands, bruv, because they're crying at how bad the first touch is. I don't care. Because he knows what he wants to do. All right, next you've got Reddy Casa on loan from somewhere. I don't know, bruv. You got him from Parma originally, obviously. That's where he was made, man. You get me? Um, Yeah, he's trash. Terminate the loan. Doesn't make sense. Why you, Why'd you bring him in here, bro? <laughs> I'll be real. What a waste of everyone's time. We got hyped up. We got dressed up for this. You got me out of my house to see this at the stadium. All right, next we've got a 32-year-old called Mustafa Nukic. And yeah, he's just slick with it, man. He's he's a bit slimy, isn't it? And I'm not talking in terms of agility. I'm talking like he might have one or two tricks up his sleeve, isn't it? Like he's one of those old heads. You know what I mean, isn't it? 15 passing, 14 vision. It's like the guys that make money appear from behind your ears. It's like, I didn't know you could do that. Admir Bristich, 20 years old. Um, Yeah, no real ability there, I'll be honest, man. I mean, I can hear the fireworks. Bonfire night is soon. And yeah, I'd rather get hit by one of those than use this guy still with his six decisions. Hit me, hit me, hit me. All right, next we've got Pedro Lucas. And I'm looking at him and I just, I can just tell like this guy is missing something. And I think I know what it is. Um, He's a rare case of a Brazilian who can't dribble or control the ball very well. Low technical ability. <laughs> um, decision making is not too great. And the worst part about all of this is that he's one of their better players. So, Alright, next you've got Rui Pedro. And 14 dribbling, 15 flair is great for a striker. That's amazing. Good pace as well. So yeah, a lot of individual brilliance here. And the reason why I say it's going to be individual is because mentally it looks like someone's got his brain and put it underwater. That's where it, it literally makes everything look disorientated. It's literally like underwater. It's like, this guy, is, there, there's something wrong. I'll be honest, there's something wrong there still. Anticipation, bravery, shook. Concentration, doesn't care. Decisions makes the wrong ones. He's not determined. <laughs> a work rate. Yeah, it's not a good mix to have still. This is like a pick and mix with all of your worst sweets, man. It's just going to hurt your feelings, bro. And this one, you might score a couple goals, but... 10 natural fit. The guy is injury prone. 
All right, this is how I'm lining up. Uh, I forgot the name of the team. Forgive me. I know you're massive and stuff. I know it, bro. You're in Champions League. But this guy is actually great. I might sign him. <sighs> Who knows, man? Um, Jankovic, I'll probably replace. Milovayovic, I'll probably replace. Mohamed, I'll probably replace him. Karamatic, get him replaced. Whole back line needed still. Don't fall. I'll keep him. Until I replace him one season in. Fadida, Fadida. Yeah, I'll keep him for the name and the chance. I think it's pure vibes. With this guy, he's probably getting sold as well, let's be honest. Elsnick was, he was alright. If he had a bit more pace, but you might keep that. You might keep that still. He's alright. Mortika? <sighs> yeah, I'll, he's 20. Who knows? And then Pinto up front? I'll probably get another striker still. One that can, you know, you know what, he ain't too bad. I'll probably keep him. So yeah, that's the team. Obviously, you got a couple squad depths in there, but this is overall the best team in this league. They're predicted to finish first. So yeah, big up Slovenia, man. Have a good day.